Hello, it's Lonnie with Crafty Traveler. This will be part four of my Kenya trip and the last part. Thank you for watching and if you like the video please give me a thumbs up here on the web page as well as subscribe and click the notification bell to all so you see my future videos. And of course share with your friends and leave me a comment about why you like this video. In this episode, you will see video from the game rides we went on while we stayed at the Serena uh, Sweetwater Tent Camp. I want to give you a warning now that at the 18 minute 06 second place begins a series of clips and videos of a pride of lions feasting on their kill. If you have any squeamish stomach or you don't want to see them feeding, please go to the last video clip at 23 minutes and 22 seconds to see what I call my Wild Kingdom moment. Starting with the early morning picture of Mount Kenya, um, it is located in central Kenya, lying immediately south of the equator. It's the second largest mountain in Africa after Kilimanjaro, which is located about 200 miles to the south. And the base of the mountain to the top is 5,250 feet. In the first video clip, there is a sighting of a cheetah with a kill at a distance. You will also see black jack, black backed jackals, a colony of baboons, and a hyena den with a pup. Watch for the family of elephants and the little one practicing charging the jeeps. When the elephants go to the water trough, watch how the baby is protected by the other elephants. These magnificent elephants walk right past our jeep. After the elephant comes the rhinoceros. There are two types of rhinoceros in Kenya. The black rhino rhinos are the smaller of the two African rhino species. The most notable difference between the white and the black rhino are their hooked upper lip. This distinguishes them from the white rhino, which has a square flat lip. Black rhinos are browsers rather than grazers, and their pointed lip helps them feed on leaves and bushes. There's a short clip of the last two female white rhinos. The male, uh, Sudan, uh, he passed away on March of 2018. We didn't see him because they had him in a barn um, protecting him. After that, you'll see a herd of Cape Buffalo come to the watering trough. The Cape Buffalo are very dangerous and they have never been domesticated. Then, towards the end, watch for the pair of cheetahs. The noises in the background are zebras braying uh, because they are sounding the alarm.
These are black bat jackal.
there were elephants like this with a young one, there must be a teenage male with them. Oh, yeah. that's a male? Yeah, that's a male, the oh, teenager. Okay. How long can they have babies? How long? Up to what age? I, it, up to about, uh, after about 50 years, they cannot uh, have any more young ones. How many do they have? One a year? No, because their gestation no. is 22 gestation, months. Yeah, gestation is 22 months. <laughs> I think she's the oldest. She's yeah, she is the oldest. The rest, even this one back here is just a young man. And the oldest one is about uh, 60 years because they live from 65 to 70.
These are the northern white rhinos. There are only three left in the world. They are too old to mate. After the cheetahs is when you're going to want to stop the video or forward it to 23 
point twenty two seconds twenty three minutes and twenty two seconds that will take you past the lion's feeding but it will let, allow you to see the wild kingdom moment buffalo at the end of the water hole.
hope you enjoyed this video. Give me a thumbs up right here on this website. Subscribe, click the notification bell, share with your friends, and give me a comment about how you like the video. Thank you for watching and stay crafty.